Welcome back to the number one source in black lights. My name is Fuge, and in this video, we're going to review Wildfire Invisible Luminescent UV Blacklight Paint. So stay tuned, and please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification for future blacklight content. All right, let's go. Okay, so here we have the Invisible Luminescent UV Blacklight Paint made by Wildfire. In my last video, I reviewed the Visible Paint line. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. So these paints actually dry white, but when UV hits the paint, you'll see the actual color you painted with. There are five colors, which are blue, orange, yellow, red, and green. So the actual color is invisible, and the paint when dried is actually white under regular light, if that makes any sense. They can also be mixed with each other for more color variation or mixed with non-fluorescent water-based acrylics for dramatic color shifts between regular light and black light. Pretty much the basic technique behind those pretty cool dual image paintings. The rules for mixing invisible colors are different from mixing visible colors because the pigments are actually emitting the light. So the colors combine just as colored lights do. Technically, it's called an additive color mixing process rather than the subtractive process of mixing visible paints. Wildfire Invisible Luminescent Paints are super saturated with UV sensitive pigments, making them the brightest blacklight paints available. These paints are super thick, so if you need to thin it down, Wildfire does have a paint reducer, and it's the only recommended way to thin down the paint, so that it will not only retain its fluorescent intensity when thinned, but it won't run or drip like it would when thinned with water or other mediums. I would start your mix ratio low at about 10-15% and don't go past 40%. You also want a true UV blacklight, which basically means you want a blacklight in the wavelength of 365 nanometers. The 390 to 400 nanometer blacklights will not work with the paint on certain colors. These paints are best if used indoors, but they can last for a few months outdoors, depending on the degree of direct sunlight and exposure to the elements, because the sun will basically kill all the UV paint. Outdoor recommendations are only for temporary applications, the invisible luminescent paints are much more sensitive to sunlight than visible paints. And just like Wildfire's visible luminescent paints, the invisible can also be applied to just about any surface, as long as it's properly cleaned and primed. I would use a flat white paint such as titanium white to prime the surface, or bullseye 123. But remember, darker base coats will dim the fluorescent effect. This paint is also water-based and completely non-toxic. I also noticed that the colors do shift or don't really fluoresce as good with the black light rated at 390 to 400 nanometers in wavelength. So just make sure you do have a 365 nanometer black light. If you don't know which black light you have, if you see a lot of purple visible light coming out, then you probably have a 390 to 400 nanometer black light. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification for future black light content. Also, if you're looking for a UV ball for your UV paints, then click this video right here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!